There's been a mixed response to a move by banks to make customers activate their credit and debit cards before they can use them abroad. The magnetic stripes on these cards will be disabled for overseas use by 1st of October. My advice to the consumer is be very careful when you use your card, especially in uh, area or merchants that is uh, very uh, attract to more tourists, right? And uh, possible to be there when you look at the cashier swiping your card. I know victims of credit card frauds before, where um, copious amounts were taken away from you know, unknowingly. So if there is a device to help, you know, upon self-activation to help you prevent this, that is a good, good thing. You weigh between the pro and cons for people who are in business. It is more difficult in a way. Actually, credit card is supposed to simplify. Otherwise, we go back to the old day when I used to use the traveler's check. Local credit and debit card transactions are processed with EMV chip technology, but the magnetic strip is still used in countries like the US and South Korea. And merchants in other places like the UK, Hong Kong and Malaysia may not accept cards with EMV chips. So before you travel, you will need to contact your bank to activate the magnetic strips on your cards. It's part of industry efforts to increase consumer protection. Data encoded on magnetic strip cards is more easily copied than the data on chip cards.